In this problem, we're told a person stands on a bathroom scale in a motionless elevator. When the elevator begins to move, the scale briefly reads only 0.75 of the person's regular weight. Calculate the acceleration of the elevator and find the direction of acceleration. So in order to solve this, there's a formula that you're going to need to know, which is force sub t. So this is just tension, right? Because we're in an elevator. So it's going to be tension minus mass times g, which is gravity, is equal to m times a, so mass times acceleration. And so we're going to use this in order to solve for acceleration. So what we want to do first is just manipulate the equation and uh, just get force uh, f sub t by itself. So the way we would go about doing this is by adding uh, this to both sides, so mass times gravity. So you get f of t equals m times a plus m times g. And then I think the best way to do this is by factoring out, or just by leaving it like this. And then what we're going to want to do is solve for f of t, but we're going to make it into a variable. So you should know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And so acceleration is basically just going to be gravity in this case. So we can just rewrite this as f of t is equal to m times g. And then if you notice that the weight is basically just going to be measuring the force, and we know it's going to be 0.75 of it, so we can just rewrite this as f sub t equals 0.75 m times g, right? Because if this is what it is, right, and we're 0.75 of this, uh, we're just going to get 0.75 times mass times gravity. And so all we got to do is just plug this into this equation, and then we're going to be able to solve for acceleration. So if we plug this in, 0.75 mass times gravity is equal to ma plus mg. So now let's go ahead and solve. So what we're going to want to do is notice that this is essentially 1 mg. So if we subtract uh, this from both sides, we will get 75 or 0.75 minus 1 is minus 0.25. And then it's just going to be mg. That's going to be equal to m times a. And then if you notice here, our m's can cancel here. So m and m cancel. We just get minus 0.25g equals a. And so essentially, we can just solve for a. So g is just going to be the force of gravity. And so we can estimate that by just saying it's 9.8 meters per second squared. So if I plug it in, minus 0.25 times 9.8 is going to give us our acceleration. And so if you do this, you should get A equals uh, minus 2.45 meters per second squared. So this is going to be your acceleration in the elevator, or the acceleration of the elevator. And the direction of the acceleration is going to be uh, downwards, right? because this is negative, and so upwards would be positive, downwards is negative, so it's going to be downwards, and so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.